So with this video, I'm not trying to insult anybody's intelligence. I'm not trying to get on anybody's nerves. I'm just trying to help people who are new to the Steam Controller. And I know I do have a few subscribers who are new to the Steam Controller and they're subscribed to me because they want to learn more about it. And I'm just trying to help the community. Now, on Reddit, and even in the Steam Controller Discord channel and on the Steam community, there are a lot of people who complain about uh, trackpad and gyro drift. Either their crosshair or their camera appears to be moving on its own. What this is is a calibration problem more often than not. And Valve and the Steam software don't really give you a good indication of when calibrating is necessary or how often you should be calibrating or even where to find the calibration settings. Um, so that's what this video is going to be about. So you just, you, you go up here to the gear where the settings are. You go to add test controller. And then at the bottom, you'll find your detected controller and then it'll bring up a menu here and you go down to calibrate. Now the way you do this, just lay your controller flat on the desk. Don't vibrate the desk. Don't hit the desk and just calibrate the controller. Just follow the instructions, leave it perfectly still on the desk until the calibration is complete. And now, hopefully, your gyro and trackpad drift should be corrected. And that's pretty much as simple as that as correcting that problem gets. I really wish that Valve gave a little bit more of an indication as to where these settings were. You have to configure them when you first configure the controller, but it's a very easy step to forget. You, you know, like a lot of people might think that it's only a first time uh, uh, configuration step that they have to do, but no, this is actually part of regular maintenance. You should be going and recalibrating every now and then, especially if you're starting to experience increased uh, input drift for the uh, gyro and the trackpad. If that starts happening, you, well, you need to calibrate and they give you absolutely no indication as to how often you should be doing it, when you should be doing it, what the, 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 the signs and symptoms of the controller would be if a calibration is necessary. I really wish that there were more indications in the software for people who are new to it because they really don't tell you. Um, but that's how you correct the gyro and trackpad drift, and this video is getting way longer than it needs to be, so I'm going to cut it off.